19 and 1 for Juan Archuleta, 19 and 8 for Robbie Peralta. Both of them are outstanding fighters. Their reach is not virtually identical, it, it is. is identical. <laughs> Michael C. Williams to get things started. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Pushanga Resort Casino Live on Paramount Network. Miller Life presents Bellator MMA. Tonight, the action begins in the featherweight division. Set for three five-minute rounds is brought to you tonight by Boost Mobile. Get the best value in national prepaid wireless. Easy to switch, easy to save. And now, first, introducing the blue corner. At 5'7", weighing in 145.3 pounds, his professional record, 19 wins, 8 losses. He fights out of Escondido, California, presenting Robbie Ramos Peralta. And across the cage, his adversary, fighting out of the red corner. At 5'7", weighing in 146 pounds even, as a professional, 19 victories, just one defeat. He fights out of Venice Beach, California, introducing Juan the Spaniard. featherweight fight getting things started here inside the beautiful Pachanga Resort Casino. Robbie Peralta. Robbie ready? Juan ready? Juan Fight Archuleta. Here we go! Time is by the Brothers brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Archuleta 19 and 1 in the red gloves. Robbie Peralta in the blue gloves. Juan Archuleta is going to be very cautious of Robbie Peralta's right hand. He has got a ball on that right hand that everyone knows about. And it comes from a big red foul shot. He's always a Good chain wrestling and going after that takedown. We'll talk a lot about this gym called the training lab as the night continues. Sign of Juan is doing his workouts, his training there as well. Juan Archuleta working under Sam Calafita, wrestling coach, our good buddy. The Filipino wrecking machine by Munoz. If you look at the corners, and you, if you win a fight by who's in the corner, Juan Archuleta's got DJ Dillashaw, Cub Swanson, and Joe Big Daddy Stevenson. Man. That's not bad. Not bad at all. That's a lot of wins. Big, heavy knee strikes by Juan Archuleta being very smart and being precise with what he's doing right now with his pressure on Robbie Peralta. Often happen. Uh, 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 
his seat, everything he's been in against, against some very high level fighters. He knows training lab, Joe Daddy Stevenson, still my head coach, always will be. Hey, Ludwig has been the training lab a ton, working of course with TJ Dillashaw. Juan Archuleta talked about how great it is to work the pads and work the Muay Thai with Hank Ludwig. He did, he talked Congrats about shorts. Hank Ludwig is changing who he is as a stand-up fighter, and he is now becoming a smart stand-up fighter instead of just a Let's check in with Jen Brown. She's going to talk about the Spaniard. Well, thanks, Goldie. Hey, you guys were just talking about Juan Archuleta's recent switch to the training lab. He was up here in the locker room. He was hooked up to a heart rate monitor. He was hitting pads with Joe Daddy Stevenson, TJ Dillashaw. But Sam Calavito, he was over in the corner, and he was monitoring Juan Archuleta's heartbeat. Now, he was calling out numbers. He was telling him to get it up. He was telling him to get it down. It was all on a computer screen, and he was monitoring. Now, listen, when we talked to Juan Archuleta yeah, this week, he said, he has made the biggest difference in his fight game, talking about Calavita. He said that sometimes the difference between a great fighter is 2%, and it's that 2% edge that he thinks he has that's going to get him the win tonight, guys. Jen, thank you very much. Sayed Awad, also a part of that team. He said Sam Calavita is amazing. Sam Calavita is an iron man. He does the iron man in, in here. Yeah. I don't know why. That's the big one. That's it. Big time. And that's something about Archuleta talking about. The looping 
punches are hard to spot when you're talking about Robin When you're in this position that Robin Floyd is putting in the fight, you don't have to worry about those things, and that's what's making him the smart fighter that he is right now. I take away those tools just by the positioning of Robin Floyd. I didn't have much growing up. I always saw my mom struggle, and that's what motivates me. My family, my kids. 14, 6, and 4 in the old block. Midway point of the fight. Big John Robin talked to us about this being a huge second chance, a uh, possibility of a reincarnation for his MMA career. Very excited to get the call to fight in Bellator. He was excited about not only being able to fight Bellator, but who he was going to fight yeah. because he said that made me excited. That's someone that he kind of he kind of gets my juices going. He scares me a little bit, and that's good. Archuleta said, "Everybody on my training team knows Robbie Peralta." <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Jiu-Jitsu race, Talita McGarrett, then the next day, July 14th, Daniel Vrysha gets a chance at redemption. He faces featherweight champion Patricio Pitbull for Bellator MMA gold. And then immediately following MMA, it is Bellator kickboxing, the featherweight title on the line, Kevin Ross and Gabriel Varga, all on Paramount Network. This right here is a grinding fight at this moment. Up against the fence, that clinch work is difficult, and it is taxing to both fighters. More than just a kick, he's opening it up into all different realms, and that's what's giving him the edge. Cage, just grab that far single again, boom, hip to hip. Hip to hip, and you got back to that seatbelt. Okay. You got that seatbelt, shoulder shrug him forward, right? Yes, now look, he's gonna want to get taken down. Right. Money maker and TJ. He wants to throw a hook. Roll it, level Let's change. go, I need you to work on the fence. Robbie, I need you to work on the fence. Keep working on the fence. Fight fans, don't forget to join the conversation on all social media platforms. And hashtag Bellator 201. I got to start around. Let's go. Mike Glover, Big fight John McCarthy. First fight, featherweight division. Third and final round. 14 fight win streak on the line for one. Oh. Brought to you by Blackheart Premium Spice Rum. The ball 93 through drop. That's edgy to the core. Watch what 
Archuleta. Watch his feet as he sets. Big overhand right, right on the chin. Boom! That puts Robbie down. Referee's seen enough. He's not responding. Look at the dip. Boom! That shot right there is going to drop anybody in the 145-pound class. You cannot get hit with an open jaw like that and survive. Big shot. Big Ten shot by Juan Archuleta. Tenth career knockout for Juan Archuleta. His 20th career victory. He remains unbeaten inside the Bellator cage. Pachanga Resort Casino Nestle in the Temecula Valley's picturesque Southern California wine country just completed a $300 million renovation. You got to check out the pool. It is outstanding. Outstanding finish for Archuleta to make it official. Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator case, it comes to an end officially. 14 seconds into round number three, the winner by knockout, Juan the Spaniard Archuleta. 15 fight win streak now for the Spaniard. He will visit with John McCarthy. I know you wanted to take that gas mask off. <laughs> nah, I love it. All right, you came out here and you showed a tremendous variety of attacks. You're, you were chain wrestling things together, you're going flying knees, punching combinations. Tell us where that's coming from. Man, that's just a beautiful team that I have behind me. Joe Daddy Stevenson leading the way, TJ Dillashaw, Dwayne Ludwig, Cub Swanson, Daryl Christian, Mark Munoz. I mean, it's a Hall of Fame corner, let alone, you know. So those guys, I'm the hybrid of their teaching, and I, it's, it's greatly appreciated. They put time and time and, and more time in with me th than I do with my own family, you know. It's a blessing. It was, it is a Hall of Fame corner, and I was listening to what they were telling you about hip to hip on your takedown and giving you great information, and you said, screw that, I'm coming with an overhand right. 
How did that thing feel when it landed? Man, it's just game plan. You know, Joe Daddy's game plan. Uh, th there's no one else that's going to beat me in the world, man. With it, with the with a training partner like Cub and TJ, man. There's no one in the world that's going to touch me. And uh, you know, I just got to give all glory to God, honestly, man. That's that's who's put me here. That's put me on this platform to make a difference. And I'm truly blessed every day waking up, seeing my beautiful family. You know, right before I got here, it's a uh, it was a little emotional. Even you know, my my daughter was at VBS, and uh, I get a call from a teacher that she passed out and had a seizure, you know? So it was like, man, I don't know if I can come here and fight tonight. But uh, honestly, with the corner I have, their family, you know, they made me feel, they, they, they made me feel calm and collective and said, go out there and take your time this time then. Don't, don't be in a rush to end it. Well, that was an unbelievable performance. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Juan Archuleta. Great family man, his wife, Janae, and he dated since high school, Juan Archuleta. His 20th pro win comes 14 seconds into the third round, and it comes by knockout.